Chapter 6 The Price of Power Greetings. As some of you already know, I am Leander Aristides, Archon of Hydropolis. I'll be counting on you. For your kind offer of assistance, I hereby appoint you my junior consul. You will serve under Roland. Mm. It will be an honor, King Edwin. Roland, I shall try not to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me you won't. Oi. Ah, a fine appointment to be sure. I only have one question, mateys. Who will be... Who will we be setting our pack sign and sights on next? Well, there are only two major nations left, correct? Broadleaf and Ding Dong Dell, which means we're going to Broadleaf, I guess. Mm. Yes. Blimey. But isn't Broadleaf on the other side of that great big oceanic rift thingy? Huh? An oceanic rift? Hmm. You have not heard of it. Interesting. The rift is a great tear in the ocean bed. It's said to have been created when a powerful evil shook the very foundations of the earth many centuries ago. And when it arose, a division was created between, between the inner and outer parts of the ocean. Broadleaf lies on the other side of that divide. Uh -huh. So you're saying we can't get there by sea? Well, no. Well, we ain't flying. Our craft may be rare beauties, but they ain't made for distances of, of that nature. <laughs> there will be no need to fly. We shall simply have our boat leap over the obstacle. Huh? Well, it's, when you make it sound that easy, uh, ye, ye what now? <laughs> I didn't take you for a comedian, Leander. Whatever do you mean? Can it really be the case that you have never been a, seen a boat jump before? <laughs> yep. Forgive me. Forgive me, it is an everyday sight in Hydropolis. I had thought it must be so everywhere, but it seems I was mistaken. Hmm. And... You could make our ship jump too, Leander? Of course. Certain uh, modifications are required, but yes, with my guidance and the proper facilities, they could soon be made. Mm. Wonderful. Then we must gather our best shipbuilders and maritime engineers right away. Which means I really need a shipbuilder thing, and research topics have been completed. Okay. Well. Seems we have all that we need, then let us have Ketch begin his research into how our ships can be made to jump. Dude, hey seriously, there. seriously, you gotta put some pants on, man. <laughs> Walking around in your boxers is not is not it's not cutting it, man. All set, your majesty. Now Leander showed us what we needed doing and we went and did it. Quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like Billy O in that thing now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ketch. Now we get the broadleaf. Your ship has been modified and you're now able to jump the great rift in the ocean. Just sail up to the right spots displayed in this picture and you'll fly over automatically. Okay, cool. All right, everything's looking ship shape. Shall we get going? Or will we set sail? Just what kind of country is this Broadleaf, eh? I've never ventured as far as old Otumnia there. It is a kingdom founded on a mysterious art known as science. Huh? Science? It is a means of manipulating the powers of nature, like magic, but... Unlike it. Say. Ruled by President Zip Vector, right? Zip Vector. <laughs> uh, the inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, what began as a small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost all overnight. Alas, it seems that things have not been going so well for him as late. Uh, there are reports of political unrest and of discontent among the populace. Mm. Another kingdom with problems. Hmm. Something tells me we're about to walk into another fine mess. Oh, come on. No, oh, stop being so miserable. Let's get going, shall we? I, for one, can't wait to see the place. All right. We will be walking into another fine mess. We always do. But let's, uh, let's save our... Save our spot here. Save file two should... Whoop. Save file two should do it. Do I hit the buttons correctly? Uh, apologies, my. I am particularly, particularly dry. My mouth is today, so I guess from yesterday talking so much. So, oh, we have a exclamation point here. Hi. Pardon me, Your Majesty, but would you happen to have a moment? Mm. 
Of course, Henny. What's the matter? I was wondering if you might be able to help me prepare something for my next lesson with the children. Mm. Oh, I'd be happy to. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. At the moment, I'm teaching the children how to tell different mushrooms apart. It's a lot of fun because once they've learned, they get to go out in the fields and pick them for themselves. That sounds wonderful. I bet they love your lessons, Henny. Well, I certainly hope so. After all, little ones learn more when they're having fun. Having said that, it's finally important that they know how to tell which ones are which, and I'd like to give them a test, so just to make sure they understand. And I thought that if you took it first, it would help motivate them to take it seriously. After all, they do look up to you so very much. Gosh. Gosh, a test? But I've never been even been one of your lessons, to one of your lessons. <laughs> Well, you don't need to. You've been all over the world. I'm sure you've seen more mushrooms than almost anyone. They'll pass with flying colors, I'm sure. Gosh, I mean, this is all very sudden. It's been ever so long since I last took a test. But I do want to help you if I can. All right, I'll give it a try. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate it. I really do. Well, then, we might as well get started. Here's question one. This is a very poisonous mushroom indeed. Expert knowledge is required to extract its venom. Bring me the mushroom you think fits this description, and we'll see if you got it right. What is this mushroom indeed? Ex expert knowledge required to extract its venom. Oh. Huh. Mushroom that matches her description. Okay. Yes. So... Uh... Hmm. Glowing mushrooms, toadstool. Uh, mock toadstool. It may look poisonous, but this friendly fungus is actually entirely edible. So, regular toadstool is um, poisonous, but can be not poisonous if you properly prepare it. Alright, so if I give that to her. Yep, that was the correct answer. <sighs> oh, I was starting to think I might have got it wrong. Sorry, Evan. I have to put that face on. I can't have the children change their answer based on my expression, can I? The toadstool is one of the world's most famous and deadliest mushrooms, so it's also the first one the children need to learn about. I have to be able to know to avoid them before I can let them go foraging. Thankfully, I'm fairly sure that all the children in my class are capable of identifying them by now, as are you, Your Majesty. Thank goodness for that. Now then, it's time for question two. This refreshing mushroom tastes just as bright and breezy as it looks. There's your description. Now bring me the mushroom you think it matches it. Nowhere to actually put ashore. Well, there's like there's probably gonna be one spot out of this whole coastline where you can you can stop and and actually. Uh, here goes nothing. Get ashore. Run away from me. Okay. We've got a uh, slightly higher level things now, but nothing we can't deal with. Have to jump two gaps to get to it. That what I gotta do? Because this looks like it's gonna be like one huge maze. I mean, there's all kinds of there's a chest down there too. Like, how are you supposed to get to that? There's, there's got to be a way to like fly or something to land on there or something like that. One thing I can think of. Oh, this is a toxic, toxic wasteland, isn't it? This is where we gotta go too. Um. All right. Well, let's do, let's, let's do the main, the main mission. While we're here, let's do the main quest. 
We made it this far. Junkyard Mire Trip Door. Uh, do we want to go in the junkyard? It looks pretty, uh, pretty toxic here. I guess we do. Uh, how do I, I guess I, oh, I can't, I can't get in there until, we must have to learn a spell to clear junk out of the way. That must be what it is. All right. Let's go to wherever we needed to go to. For the main quest. It's going to be over this other way. Looks like. Yeah, how do I get over to that if I can't get to the... Is that the only way in there? I bet that's the only way in there, isn't it? But the one that wanted. it. Still not what I want it. Uh, yeah, Broadleaf is right in the center there. And we'll flats. So I have to go through the junkyard, right, to get to it. Seems like the thing I gotta do. So there's gotta be a way through there, you would think. I just didn't see. So what didn't I see here? I just hit it with my sword? No. Oh, you can walk on top of the junk. Oh. Oh, okay. Forty one things here. Take them on. Watch your back. All you and I got powered up right at the end there. Technically, probably still have some power up going, so maybe that'll help out with this one, right? Nope, it reset me. Eat this. And that's how you clear out a room, just like that. That is that is the room clearing <laughs> ability. Also a uh, another skirmish over there, huh? Shall we? Eat this. Hitting things while they're down. That's how I roll. Grab all the things. There's that. Lots of lots of items dropping. That's nice. And over here. We're on a huge clockwork machine. Alright now. Hey, look at that. There's a purple guy up there. Lots of stuff going on here. Broadleaf. Flipping heck is this place? Oh my! So the tower is. This is the main city of Broadleaf? I've never seen anything like it. 
Hey! Hey, I hear it's starting soon. Uh... Starting? What is? You're kidding me, right? Don't you watch the news? The anti-vector faction is holding a big demonstration. Wow. Really? Against the president? Yeah. Yeah, up at the landing pad, or so I heard. You think we should go take a look? You bet I do. A protest, huh? Guess the stories about people be here being unhappy were true. Suppose we better go and take a look for ourselves. We're not here like two seconds and we're already participating in a, in a protest. Can I speak to you? Hmm. I've always been the kind of guy who toes the company line, checking my own opinions in at the office door. It's getting harder and harder to do that. People are really divided in the pro and anti-vector camp, so I just can't think it's all that black and white. I wanted to talk to the robot, actually. Beep. Uh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> hey there, thanks for visiting Broadleaf Inc. I'm afraid I can't offer you a tour right now. We hope you come back and see us again soon. Have a nice day now. Hey there, and welcome to the Treehouse, the nerve center of Broadleaf Incorporated. Now, I hate to be a buzzkill, but we had a little hitch, and we can't let you look around campus just now. Sorry, guys. Yeah, okay. And you, sir? Uh, Sorry, guys. I'm kind of in the middle of protesting right now. I can't tell you anything today. Ah, uh, okay. Everybody's... Everybody is protesting. Everybody is kung fu fighting. And the pebbles are all over the place again. Uh, let's go, instead of talking to more people, they're all going to probably say the same things. Well, let's go up here. You've got a thing on your head. Uh, can I talk to you? Hi there, going up. If so, hop aboard. Now all you need to do is pick which part of town you want to go to. Okay, uptown, I guess. Uh, maybe I should have picked the Midtown? Can I not, can I just jump over there? <laughs> so, so, can I not gain access to it? I guess, yeah, I don't have access to much of it here. Well, let's get our trip doors anyway. Much faster than waiting for an elevator. Everybody's just kind of sitting around, looking. Yeah, and... What is this landing pad to then, eh? Let's go up here, I guess. And it's like submarine doors on all the things. It's a really cool layout here. Very, very sprawling, though. It's time, Bracken. All right. Better start by thanking everybody for coming. Huh? Huh? Who are you guys? I haven't seen you around the company. Listen. Sorry, but things could be about to get dangerous. You'd better leave. Oh. Oh, we were rather hoping to go and meet with President Vector. What's this all about, exactly? Ah, meet with the President? I don't think that's about to happen. Anyway, I'm Bracken. Bracken Meadows. I'm Chief Engineer here at Broadleaf Industries. I'm the one who gathered all these people here to get today. We're going to try to make President Vector finally listen to what we have to say. Uh. I have to get through to him to make him hear what the workers this company relies on have to say. Golly. Golly. <laughs> he hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual fission reactor. He doesn't care about anything except fission the damn thing, not even his employees' lives. <sighs> Something like 20 people have already collapsed from overwork. These conditions, they're unacceptable. <laughs> well, what kind of leader would do such a thing? Hey. Hey, Bracken, he's back. All right, let's do this. Look! 
What is that thing? He's gold plated. It's it's the Wizard of Oz, or it? Oh, to be oh, I guess. An airship of some sort. Huh. Uh, look at the face on it. We're ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Thanks, Trey. Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. For too long, the president has been working us like slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. But we have a message for him. We are not your slaves, Zip. We are not slaves! We are not slaves! We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. We are not slaves! We are not slaves! <laughs> That's not exactly what the, they said, but all right. Sounds like I'm going to have to let some people go. Uh, oh boy. Is that his kingmaker? Giant robot thing? Well, this can't be good. Now you see what happens to those who defy me! <laughs> Finally decided to make an appearance, huh, Mr. President? What a disappointment to see you leading this ragtag resistance. You know, I expected better of you, Bracken. I expected better of you, too. Have you forgotten what we said when we started out? We promised to make the world a better place, remember? And we will! The perpetual fission reactor will change the world forever! And the future will be mine to define. Oh, yeah, it's all gone to your head, isn't it? It's all about you, Zip, isn't it? Even if it means trampling over everybody who helped you make it this far? Well, he's definitely a CEO, I'll tell you that much. You used to care about us. You used to be a leader people could trust. But that's all gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. When did you get so broken? Ha! I'm the broken one? Look at yourselves, stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> it is time. Wow, this guy just kind of skipped right to the chase, didn't he? Sorpentor is here. Already. That was Doran. <laughs> Damn it, we were too late again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, super late this time. Ah! Reckon, we've got to get out of here. You're right. Yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. What? What are you doing, Bastion? How dare you disobey me?
Well, that's going to hurt a lot. Or not, okay. <laughs> Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Anybody who stands in my way... Is he going to kill his own king? King's Guild? Uh, King's Gets Guide? atomized! <laughs> Okay, the placate his own <laughs> his own king beast, whatever they're called, I forget now. Whoa. Looks like Sebastian's gone. Bastion the Kingmaker. Kingmaker of Broadleaf. I had not thought we would actually see the creature for ourselves. Hey. Hey, you said you were here to see President Vector, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm Evan, King of Evermore. It's a new kingdom in the in the Heartlands. We've come to ask President Vector to sign a pact with us and join our, our union of friendly nations. Holy! Wait, I think I heard about you guys. Gold Paul and Hydropolis already signed up, right? Hmm. Now you want us on board too, huh? Well, I guess I don't need to tell you this, but now's not exactly a good time. Yeah. You can say that again. He's getting his kingmaker on his own people. Imagine what he'd do to us. <sighs> he didn't used to be like that. Bracket and me, we found this whole company with him. We know him better than anybody. It's the perpetual fission reactor. Ever since we started working on it, he's been different somehow. Mm. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was all DeLorean's doing. Who or what is DeLorean? He's a strange masked man. He's, he's basically Serpentor and we're G.I. Joe. That's basically what it is. That's all you need to know. Uh, who's going around stealing the king's bonds of all the world's great leaders? We saw him stealing President Vectors, too. He pollutes people's hearts with an awful blackness so that he could control them. I'm sure that's what must have happened to the president. Huh? Uh, are you kidding me? Then we have to stop him. We'll help too, of course. I'm sure there must be a way of bringing him back to his old self. No. Based on what we have seen and heard, it would seem that the president has been quite seriously affected by Doloran's evil influence. Queen Naria, uh, being highly skilled in the magical arts herself, was capable of resisting the darkness enough that... Restoring her to her senses was a relatively simple task. If I may be so bold. I somewhat doubt that it'll be so easy in this case. Yeah, he's pretty obsessed. Excuse me. You said that you and the President Vector used to be close, didn't you, Bracken? Is there a way you could remind him of those times, perhaps? Huh. Try to snap him out of it by jogging his memory, I mean. Yeah, that could work. Hmm. You want to remind him of the good old days, huh? Well, this right here might be a good place to begin. It's where the three of us started out all those years ago. We used to do all our work in a room right through there. It's still just how we left it. Hmm. Such a place might certainly hold a clue as to how we might proceed. Would it be alright to take a look at this workshop of yours, Bracken? Uh-huh. Sure, be my guest. Okay. Well, that was an interesting start. We're already super late. <laughs> Which... It's kind of nice. Uh, it's they 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 broke with their own rule and having you go off and do something nonsense nonsensical and then come back and have the king fight later. So have the king fight right away and we didn't have to even participate in it. Although I'm sure we will at some point. So let's get back into the brass tacks here, friends. Let's see what we can do to help out here. So we gotta go. I think we, they wanted me to go look in this chamber up here, which is their original office. And see if there's anything here that would jog their king's memory of the, of the good old days. <sighs> this is where it all began. We leave it unlocked in case any of us ever wants to come back and reminisce. Haven't been back in a long time, though. Anyway, in you go. I guess it seems kind of small when you compare it to the offices we have now, but everything that grew into the Broadleaf Inc. we know today started here. 
<laughs> yeah, and Zip recorded every minute of it. The guy was obsessed. Yeah, it was his idea to leave this place just like this forever too, huh? So we'd never forget where we came from. Mm. Ah, a fine sentiment to be sure. Well, shall we have a look around and see what we can find? Do, do, do. <laughs> he's just, he's always like constantly happy just standing there on a book, just looking around. Uh, door here. Do anything with? Hmm. Hmm, nothing over here seems quite like what we're looking for. I think you might be better off concentrating your efforts elsewhere, Your Majesty. Okay. Huh. I haven't seen these plans in so long, huh? Trey nearly drove himself crazy trying to finish all of them on time. Uh. Man, I wish Bracken could bite her lips sometimes. <laughs> no, man. Sorry, man, but treasure hunts just ain't my forte. You'll have to take up the slack for me, Evan. Okay. Uh. We don't tend to get stuff from Broadleaf over in Cloud Coil Canyon, so I don't really have much of an idea what we're looking for, to be honest. I'm not even sure I really understand what these things are supposed to do. I'd ask about to, but I think he knows even less than I do. Okay. Well, is it perhaps the only thing that's glowing in the room that we have to pick up? Before we do that. Wow. I expected the tech at Broadleaf to be kind of similar to what we have back home, but I've got to say, they're way ahead of us. <laughs> do you know, lad? I've always liked the treasure hunt. All us pirates do, I suppose. What's that now? This ain't supposed to be a game? Well, I know that right enough. I was just saying, that's all. <laughs> okay. I'll have to get defensive, dude. Obtained Memolith BL011. Hey! Rackin, I found this. Is it anything important? It's a memolith, a pretty old one. Must be left hand, left, uh, left handed. <laughs> Must be left behind from back in the day. Oh. What's a memolith? Well, you take a crystal and run a tiny magical current through it to record visual data. Then you can run a light beam through it, focus it with a prism lens, and watch the data back whenever you like. By which I mean, uh, in layman's terms, it's, well, it's a device you could use to record memories. Golly. Golly, and can we watch them now? The ones on this memolith, I mean? Uh-huh. Sure, let's play it back and see what we have here. Hey, Bracken, there's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Sure, let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Me too. So that, those symbols up at the top right, were they, is that their date system? The calendar system maybe? That we, wow. cause they were, they matched the ones that we saw uh, down in the main area. That was, wow, that was from way back when we first started out. Yeah. Perfect, then we could use it to jog the president's memory, right? Huh. I'd say so. A picture's worth a thousand words, after all. Sure would be good to have a couple more than just the one, to be sure, though. Are there any other memo lists from back then, Bracken? Hmm. Mm, Zip was kind of hot on destroying sensitive data. It wasn't essential to the running of the company. It pretty much all got wiped. But I took a look in the database just now, and it seems like four memoliths are unaccounted for. Which means there may be another three out there somewhere. Yes, I can do basic math, thank you. If we could find all of them, that ought to be enough to jog his memory for sure. It seems a little unlikely that we're going to find them just lying around like we did this one. You're right. Sure, it's unlikely, but I have an idea how we might be able to maximize our chances. If those memoliths went missing, somebody probably lost them. So the first thing we do is go where the most people are, the factory. All right, let's head for the factory and look for those memo lists. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out like this, you guys. Oh, she's just temporarily joining the party. Okay. Anything else in here? No, all right. 
So, to the factory with us, I imagine. Hmm. You, do you have anything to say for yourself? No? Yeah, they would hide something over here. Creamy cheese. Okay, I guess I can just walk right into the factory then. Bzz, factory security at level 5. Authorized personnel only. What the? Wait a second, while I teach our friend here some manners. <laughs> a little percussive maintenance. Welcome, fellow workers. Here's to another great day at Broadleaf Inc. Just say the word if you need the elevator. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay. Uh, beep beep, let's have a great time at work today. We're all going to have a ton of overtime this week, so let's make a ton of fun. Beep boop, would you like to use the elevator? Um, yes. Beep beep, you got it. <laughs> I like how, I like how the machines, whenever they do something right, they, they flex. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, we're techno funk. Well, no. So, how do you uh, propose to find these memory stone contrivances of yours in a great cavern of a place like this, eh, girly? Well, mimoliths are pretty small, right? Which means people lose them all the time, and that's not good when they're filled with sensitive data. <laughs> Which is why they create a handy utility to scan the vicinity and find them. Are you tell what? To which the vicinity how now? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks to the da database, we know the serial numbers of the memo lists were missing. So if they're here, we should see them soon enough. Whoa! Oh, looks like I'm missing I'm getting a reading already. It's someplace nearby. It's coming from the archive over there. The whole factory's on lockdown. We need to fire up the boilers before we can get in there. Come on. Well, I'll take you to to the one on this floor. I'll send you the floor plan, so if you get lost, you can check your map. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh -huh. Combat droids are designed to outmatch humans in every way. Yep, I figured since Roland is moving with us, that we're going to be fighting things now. Dinah floor, number one trip door. And a chest. Oh, steam funk. <laughs> I, I almost don't want to say anything with this music playing. Just too damn good. Let's do, uh, yeah, let's go back to save file one. Save our stuff. Let's take on a few bots, huh? Come on. Easy peasy. Get a little level up while we go. It'd be really nice if we could uh how does one get up there? Are there like controls here that we can use? Ooh, there are. Isn't active at the moment. Oh, okay. We'll have to activate it later on. It would be nice if they had this music for the combat, you know, like a different combat tune that was incorporated this this tune. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna be another maze thing. They like they like their mazes, oh, no. don't they? 
They're hard to see unless you look at the main map. A cup of good old eggnog. Good old eggnog. All right. I just, I like eggnog with my... <laughs> okay, that's where we have to go in there. Eggnog with my... Uh... Oh, okay. All right. She doesn't want me to go any further until we do this. I'm going to go take those guys out. Core, this place is a mess. Yeah, when the treehouse finally went up, they moved their old offices over here, and this place wound up being where they dumped a bunch of the old records. Alrighty. All right, let's dig out that memolith, shall we? Or memolith. We got lots of old, uh, old CRTs here, huh? You've upgraded the flat panels. I like it. Oh, well, I mean, it's easy to find it when it's bright red there, huh? Nothing else here I can interact with, just that. Okay. BL027, Mimo Lith. Woo, yeah! Ha! Ah, I knew I was right. Go find me is the headache saving killer app the world's been waiting for. Huh? What kind of weird name is that? Never mind that. Let's watch this next Mimo Lith. Zip, the launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect! I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's what. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. The young Steve Jobs. Went under. <laughs> right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard. But nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. He was an inspiration. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> Gosh, dang it! Gah, it doesn't make any damn sense. The figures for the perpetual fission reactor, they're all over the place. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir, but with the prototype in this state, it's just not safe. Shut up! Shut I don't want to. Shut up! <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Just fix it. We need to finish that thing, and we need to finish it now. I don't care what it takes. Y yeah. Y yes, sir. Gah. My head. Gah. Never mind that. We'll never get the job done if I let this slow me down. Nobody takes a break. Not me. Not anybody. We work all night if we have to. Yeah, well, <laughs> burnout's about to hit you <laughs> in the form of a blade in your back. Alrighty. All right, I'm getting a signal from the next level up. That's the smart stick lab. <laughs> you tell us what exactly a smart stick is on the way. <laughs> okay, let's get moving.